So this is not how a normal Stanley cup will work. Hey guys, it's Derek and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you, I jumped on the bandwagon and got one of these because everyone on TikTok and everyone on YouTube has one and of course I'm gonna follow the trend, aren't I? But seriously, this is a Stanley cup. This is not a cheap cup. I got it from Amazon. And first thing I wanna say about getting this cup from Amazon is that the packaging is crap. So basically it came like this in a box with a plastic bag around it. There was no protection. It didn't come with a box or foam or bubble wrap or anything. So it was just rolling around in the box, clunking away, but luckily there weren't any scratches on it. They had very limited amount of colors and basically it was just kind of this one. So this is kind of like a weird creamy white. It's the 40 ounce, which is approximately 900 mils or a little bit over that. So it's a good amount and it's great. We're just staying hydrated. And I know I've done a lot of drink bottle reviews on this channel before, but this one's pretty cool. The one thing I have to say is you've seen a lot of videos from different creators saying that Stanley Cups are crap. And number one reason that Stanley Cups are crap is because they are not leak proof. Now, if you look at a cup like this, which is really handy, it's really convenient, and the bit here is narrow, so it actually fits into the cup holder without having to get one of those adapter things. How often would you actually be bothered about having this spill everywhere? And that's my question is, how often do you turn it upside down? And I guess the only time that you would turn this thing upside down is if you're gonna stick it in a bag somewhere. And I'm not the type of person who would stick this usually in a bag. And besides, it's so damn heavy. I don't wanna stick it in a bag. If anywhere, I'm just gonna carry it in my hand. Naturally holding it like this, the risk of spilling is not huge. So I'm not overly fussed about it. But if you are, this is the solution. It's not a perfect solution in that there is one kind of flaw to this. So basically I got this Stanley cup from Amazon and I got this additional little package. It's not made by Stanley. It's from a third party. So basically what it is, is just three silicone kind of rubbery things that stop the cup from leaking if you're concerned about that. So what it comes with, is actually comes with six pieces. It was about 11 or $12 Australian. So number one, it comes with this little straw thing here. So it just slides on the straw and it keeps it so that bugs can't get into the straw and dirt can't even get into the straw, which is pretty good. Number two, I'm gonna actually unscrew this and show you. Now it's gonna leak, it's just gonna come out of the bottom of the straw. And just so that you know that I'm not making this up, there's actually quite a deal of water in here. It's this little round thing, which is here. And number three, on the straw entry place, there's a little gasket thing, which prevents the water leaking out. So basically it seals up all the issues, all the potential spots where this Stanley Cup would leak. If you put it sideways, you put it upside down. However, there is one problem with this setup. So the thing is, when all the seals are in place, there's so much vacuum or negative pressure in here that when you try and slurp through the straw, it's quite difficult. It's pretty much like you're trying to do a tri-flow or spirometry and you're doing a big slurp and because of the pressure and the vacuum, not much of the water comes out. And one of the things I read, I don't know how serious that people need to take this, is that when I read prior to getting a Stanley Cup actually, is the advantages and disadvantages of using a straw to drink your water rather than just gulping. One of the things is that the positive of using a straw is you kind of get to sip small amounts regularly and it prevents your stomach from getting all bloated and stuff. And having a cup like this by your office kind of increases the likelihood that you're going to sip regularly. And it's also good for travel. So when you're in a car or something, you can always bring that and you can also drink from that. But one of the disadvantages I read is that if you do the frequent slurping motion like this, it's kind of almost akin to cigarette smokers and it increases the risk of getting some wrinkles around your lips. And if that is a problem for you, that's something to think about. Obviously, this is gonna be a long-term issue and I don't think it's gonna be helped by the fact that you have to put so much negative pressure like this just to get some water out on a regular basis if you are using all these seals. What I've done is the easiest way to fix this is because if I do it like now, it's hard to slip. It's like, literally, no water came out then. I just loosened a bit, so it, un does, it unlocks the vacuum. Then now the water comes out super easily. Just something that I just remember. So if I actually are gonna take it away, because I'm gonna put this little flappy thing on it anyway, when I do that, I just remember to tighten the lid up. 
There is a simple workaround, but it's not 100% perfect in that to prevent the leak out of this bottle, you're gonna to have to undo the vacuum seal a little bit. And by doing that, you're gonna lose the waterproofness. So that's just the way it is. I'm not overly bothered by it. Am I glad I bought this extra accessory? As I said, it's about 12 or $13 or whatever. It comes with two lots of each of them. So it comes with six pieces. Do I think it's a good buy? Look, if you are worried that your Stanley Cup and your water is going to spill out, then yeah, it's something that I would get. If you're just going to put it on your office desk, I don't think it's going to be an issue because if you're knocking over, you're knocking over, just like if you knock over a glass of water. So if you're not going to take this out, if you're not going to bring it somewhere where potentially it's not going to be sitting bolt upright, yes, get this. Otherwise, it's a perfectly serviceable, good drinking flask, cup, mug, whatever you like to call it. I always thought that Stanley Cups was something you win if you're really good at ice hockey. But anyway, this is it. It's a Stanley Cup. Is it worth the 80 bucks that you've got to pay? Really, it's up to you. If you want to follow trends, if you want to be like everyone else, this is the cup to get. And it actually doesn't make the water taste any weirder, which is good. And on hot days like today, if it keeps you hydrated, that's also a good thing. But these accessories, if you need them, go get them. You can, I guess, take them on and off, but I guess if the silicon, if you keep taking them on, on and off, it's gonna be like anything else, it's gonna break. There are hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of people who are drinking out of these Stanley Cups or any other non-waterproof, spill-proof cups, glasses, mugs, who don't complain about this problem. So it's really up to you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your Stanley Cup if you have one, and remember to stay hydrated in really hot weather. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time in another video. Bye.